Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can instantly update the profile picture. As some of you guys said that you should do this one. So in the last video, I think it was video 38. I said that when, whenever you upload a photo, let's say we pick this girl here. And now we upload this one, it does not change that instantly here. Yeah, it will show something like this. And I told you that you should give it a try if you can. If you cannot, then I will make a video. So now I will make the video. So let's start. If I inspect the element and see what happened when we upload the, the picture. First of all, I will just hard load to see everything is working just fine. For now, this profile, the admin is having this picture here. So what I will do is I will just close this portion. If you are getting this error, these are not important. You don't need to worry about this stuff. Of course, there is another video I will make about some people complete when they log in they are going in this url here so i will show you how you can fix that problem as well so for now if i just pick this image here this is the image and this is going to the image directory profile and taking the profile from here what if i pick a new image from my desktop when i pick that the, the, the uh, another image let's see this girl it is going to put the base 64 copy here so if i try to edit this one i cannot edit it here because the value is too large so if you check out here here is return img slash profile then data.png if you do not write this directory here this this portion this directory it will display the image here the reason it displayed as image slash profile slash data is because when we call our function here get profile photo which is going to take the profile photo it will uh, prepend this you uh, like this text or the, this url to our photo here that's why it is going to display it here so what i will do i will do something like this if user upload a new image just put the base 64 code here otherwise go and take the other name from database something like that so you can write an, any function but for me how should i write the condition here you know what is ternary operator you can give you can say we have let's say war or let let's say photo is this going to be equal to this one this is the ternary operator in javascript you know how it is going to work you write a condition here if the condition is true then you can pass this value for this variable otherwise pass this value this is like if and else so i will write the condition here and then if the condition is true this one will happen what is the condition every time we upload an image what is this text this is too long text right so it is more than 200 character at least so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a, a condition here i will say this dot form dot photo this character this character is the value of the photo here so let me show you here in the example if i go to view tab here this is the view dev tool going to profile um, so if i click on the profile opening the form now if i come down there is here is the photo and here is the data of the photo here so of course this photo the information is too long but if we do not have this one the image name is very short when it is coming from database so if i come here this is the profile image here this is at least like 20 character something like that so I will, I will write a condition here if this photo wearable here is more than 100 character that I can say length I hope this spelling is something like it if this is more than 100 I mean the length of the photo we have is more than 100 character it means they have uploaded a base 64 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the value of this photo whatever it is here just put it here this value is going to be stored in this variable for now I know I'm not going to use this portion okay I'm not going to use this portion this photo and the the value of this one is going to be changed like based on the condition we have written here if the the length of the photo is more than 100 character the photo will be like the text we have here the base 64 version here if it is less than that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you this name but plus i will append it with this value 
I hope you understand what I'm doing. This is going to give this variable just a conditional value. It means if a user is going to upload something, this is going to give us a big 64, which is more than 100 characters. And we know they have we have uploaded something new. So just write down the new value here for the photo. Otherwise, I know if this is if someone refresh the page, this value come from database, which is the new photo name from database. If this is less than 100 character. Okay, let's put it as 200. This is fine. Like this is less than 200 character. That is just the you know the time plus the extension of the file so that is very short and that's why put this url here and once you put this one now we have the photo variable here i will just return it in the function here for now if i save it and wait for it to compile of course in the background i am running the npm run watch and if i refresh the page this time to upload another image to see if this is going to work or not this is the old one so if I come down and this time I select an image, this girl. Okay, we pick the girl. It is not showing, it's still here. So let's see what is wrong. If I select this one, yeah, we have it. It's still, we have the profile image here. Why? I think we have something wrong here. Of course, we say, if this is going to happen, write this one. Otherwise, write this one. I think we have written this length in GTH something like that. Yeah, this is the correct one. So if I save it, this is the spelling mistake I got here. So this time if I refresh it, I hope this is correct this time. So yeah, we have the old one. If I pick the profile picture from here, equal to and if I scroll up, yeah, this is going to display the new name here. If you look at the data, we have data which is the base64. And it, this is exactly what we want. This time if we save it, update the user profile. It did update the user profile, but it did not query a new information. For example, if we have admin3 or admin2 or admin new, if we click on the update, this is going to update it. Okay, yeah, this is admin3, but this did not uh, update this one this is what we can do like if someone did the update you know we finished the progress we can fire a function here you know uh, we have the custom event that we can fire and then what we can do is we can listen that on create and then we can send another request um, for doing that uh, we can do that but I think that's easy you can do we have already covered the custom event like we have fire and then we say dot and dollar sign on oops no we have fire i think yeah the variable name was fire so if i just check out this the variable name in our user component here if i come all the way down we had yes fire yeah the name is fire and we can emit after create here you can image that one and then what you can do is you can listen that and create it here and then you can send another HTTP request to the server to update the data dot variable dot form here so that is I think easy you can do that one by yourself so, so this is how basically how you can figure out how you can change the user information now if you, someone refresh the page this time it should uh, take information from database not from the one we updated now yeah. This data is from database, but if I change it, let's say we pick this logo here, and yeah, and instantly you can see it, it will change it here. So if you update it, of course it is going to update. So I hope it has been informative for you. If you have any question, feel free to ask below the video. And there are some other things I think some people complete. Like if I write up something like in the password and then I clean it, this time if I update it, yeah, it is working for me, but for some people it didn't work. So I can fix that in the future videos. So see you in the next video.